The CDC recommends that people stay home. They stay home if they might have be infected. They stay home if they're quarantined. They stay home to stay out of harm's way. And unfortunately, as you said already, about a quarter of U.S. workers don't have paid sick days, don't have the ability to stay home when they're sick or they need to stay home if they're quarantined or they need to take care of another family member. So that is an important gap we need to absolutely fill with policy. And luckily, policymakers can do something about it. What makes this even worse is that low-wage workers are far less likely to have paid sick days, and they're far less likely to be able to work from home. And when we think about the service sector, that's the sector that's going to get particularly hit by this, not only because they're out in the public, but also because they're going to have fewer customers. You're going to see some layoffs. You're going to see people's hours cut. So it's really important that we have those protections for those workers in particular. What we therefore need to focus on is everybody recognizing that they can have the paid sick leave that they need such that they are not going to face any kind of financial crisis on top of any kind of health care crisis. And so, as uh, Elise said, what we know is that people, let's say, in the lowest 10 percent in terms of their uh, pay scale, 90 percent of them have no paid sick leave. So this has to be recognized across the board that everyone is going to get paid sick leave. Now, Lamar Alexander said, oh, this is all well and good, but we don't know how to pay for it. It's actually very easy to pay for it. Uh, we just extend Medicaid benefits uh, to everybody that needs this. Uh, we use we expand Medicare to cover everything to do with the coronavirus, and the federal government, yes, will pay for it. Uh, I'm not exact. I'm not opposed per se to employers getting a payroll tax cut if that payroll tax cut is then used to help cover the costs of covering paid sick leave. At the same time, the most important thing for people uh, is to be able to get money in their pockets for that assurance and to recognize they have paid sick leave and full coverage for any kind of care that they need with the coronavirus.